Payne with three victories in the Summer Solstice Series at Plain Ridge. Also third in his Yonkers Trot Elimination, trailing Max Crown K by five and three quarter lengths. It's the one, Ben Hem. Number two is Incredible Hulk, owned by Rizzo and the Peretti Racing Stables, trained by Chuck Sylvester, driven by Jim Marshall III. As a freshman, he rallied from third place at the top of the stretch to defeat Max Crown K, three and three quarter lengths in their Hanover Colt Stake Division. Could not take advantage of the pocket trip finishing fourth in his Yonkers Trot elimination. It's the Incredible Hulk. Number three is Max Crown K, owned by Robert Key of Leechburg, Pennsylvania. Trained by Charles Norris and driven by Wally Hennessy. Broke is made with a six and three quarter length romp over Ocala Hall in a conditioned trot at the Red Mile. Picked up a place check in the Standard Bread of Delaware, trailing CRV eight by a head. That's the three, Max Crown K. Here's the favorite for Sugar Trader, owned by Brennan Nordstrom and Taddeo, trained by John Brennan, driven by Catello Manzi. Sugar Trader, as a freshman, he stopped long game by three and three quarter lengths in the Harold Dance Memorial Elimination. Two length winner over Power to Charm in the Matron Final, stopping the clock at 157 and three. It's Sugar Trader. Number five is Ringside Devil, owned by Robert Harper and William Vandevoort, Jr., trained by Bill Vandevoort, Jr., driven by Yannick Gingra. Ringside Devil broke his maiden with a neck triumph over Swingback Hanover in a New Jersey Sire Stakes event at Freehold. Also fourth at his Yonkers Trot Elimination, six and three-quarter lengths back of Max Crown K. It's Ringside Devil from post five. Number six is the London Farms Solicitor Hanover, trained by Bruce Regal, driven by Jeff Gregory. Debuted with a third place finish in a Keystone Classic division, trailing Hope's victory by a length and a quarter. As a three-year-old, he lowered his lifetime mark to 156 and three with an impressive seven and three-quarter length triumph over Graham Jack and their Arden Downs division. Solicitor Hanover. Number seven, on tour. Owned by Shilar, by Paul Doherty, driven by Ray Schnitker. As a two-year-old, he broke his maiden with a two and three-quarters length score over Sinatchi in a New Jersey Sire Stakes event at the Meadowlands. Lowered his lifetime mark to 158 and one with a 14 and a half length triumph over Carlin's two by two in a condition event at Pocono Downs. That's on tour. And completing the field from post eight is two car lane owned by the MG Racing Stables and the Hillview Enterprises, trained by Patrick Lachance in the bike, Jay Randall. Two Car Lane opened his three-year-old campaign with a third place finish in the Dexter Cup elimination. Third in his Yonkers Trot elimination, captured by Sugar Trader, finishing two lengths behind the winner. It's Two Car Lane, and that's the field for the 49th edition of the Yonkers Trot, three minutes to post. Right, seventh race, the 49th edition of the Yonkers Trot. Here they come. Off stride, Max Crown K, far outside on tour, flashing speed with Solicitor Hanover toward the inside. It's Benham, an incredible Hulk. And again, Max Crown K, off stride, trailing the field. Solicitor Hanover has emerged with the lead. On tour, and Schnitker will grab the pocket, followed by Benham third as they trot to the opening quarter. Incredible Hulk's in mid-pack. Sugar Traders unhurried, six and a half lengths behind. Then it's a length and a half back to two car lane, a gap of six or seven, a ringside devil, and far behind after the miscue is Max Crown K. The opening quarter was 28 and two. Paddock turn the first time, Jeff Gregory and long shot solicitor Hanover by two. On tour has secured the pocket. In third is Ben Him, followed in fourth by Incredible Hulk and Sugar Trader still reserved in fifth. And they trot over towards the half mile pole and at 16 to one, it's Solicitor Hanover, leading it by a length and a half. In the pocket, it's on tour. 
Marshall first up with Incredible Hulk third, then Benham rides the curves in fourth, second up for favored Sugar Trader. Half mile was 58 and four. They're a half mile from home, and Solicitor Hanover trying to spring the upset on the Yonkers trot. Letting it by length on tours had the perfect trip. On the outside, Incredible Hulk is third. Then Benham, Sugar Trader, needs to do better here with time running out. He's drawn within three and a half lengths of the lead. And then it's two car lane as they near the three quarter pole with the lead. It's Solicitor Hanover now cut loose, three wide. Manzi and Sugar Trader cranking it up at three quarters in one, 28 and two, and Sugar Trader effortlessly on now to take the lead. Solicitor Hanover now has given way. On to his locked in third, followed by Incredible Hulk Benham and two car lane. But as they come towards the top of the stretch, and Sugar Trader has given them the slip. It's Sugar Trader by five. Nothing left for Solicitor Hanover. On to over late trot third. Incredible Hulk is a week in fourth and two car lane. The 49th edition of the Yonkers trot goes to Sugar Trader. Sugar Trader by five. On tour at Solicitor Hanover, 158 and 3. It is Sugar Trader, John Brennan, John Nordstrom, John Taddy, are the three Johns. And if they were happy with Johns out there, I'm not even going to go there. But that man's with his second Yonkers Trot victory. And a whole lot of happy folk here. They'll get half of the 337, 229. But a lot of prestige as well for the connections of Sugar Trader. Bike comes off, but Mr. Trader has some posing to do in the winner's circle. The uh, final pie board, as you see, says 50 cents, 46, and uh, 16. The two also credible hook at 21 to round out the super. There was super effective wager, and there is the blanket. Adam April Pesic uh, doing a stellar job this evening coordinating all that winner circle stuff. Adorning now the soon to be official winner, Sugar Trader. We, by the way, welcome in the Deputy Mayor of the City of Yonkers, Mr. Phil Anacone, making the presentation this evening. Always glad to have the uh, city officials uh, here each and every year to help us celebrate uh, the Yonkers trot. And it is edition number 49 now, soon to be officially in the books. There's a trophy. There's the blanket of flowers. There's a whole lot of good stuff that the winner gets. Unfortunately, I couldn't glom any of it for myself.